Hey everybody, it's United Gamer here. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Donkey Kong 64. In the last part, we finished the hardest part of the game, Donkey Kong Original, and was created in 1981, which is so terribly difficult for me. But we beat it the uh, one, the first try and two tries, because uh, you have to actually have to beat the game twice. And the second one beat it on the first try, which is awesome. But this one, all you want to do is just uh, use a little lottery machine and get yourself some gold bananas. All right, I didn't even mean to press A, but I got it. Um, it's not hard now, but it does get a lot more difficult later on. It's still not that hard if you can, but you can't really just look at it and know when to push it. What you, what I recommend doing for later on is memorize where the banana is coming from or like what it's behind and then hit it a little bit ahead of time. But we don't have to do that for this one and we already got a banana in the game. So what we're going to do in this part is we're going to finish up this little area right here and then move on out of this area. We're just going to get everything we can in this area. And we got Blanky Kong's second banana. What you want to do now is, I recommend you come over here and get yourself some coins. Um, just in case you want to get, just in case they're low on them and stuff. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Now what you want to do is get your last banana here in this little part of the level. Come over here with Tiny Kong and acquire your banana through this. What's easy enough to do is just come over here. All you have to do is shrink up and then do this little, actually another easy game. Um, there's really nothing else left to do in Frankie Factory that is terribly hard. Oh crap, we're low on crystals. Um, but the only thing that's really they make so difficult for you is that Donkey Kong game. But we luckily we've already got that taken care of, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. What would happen if you ran out of crystals when you got in here? Would you be trapped? I'm just, I'm just curious. <laughs> But what you want to do is just ground pound that, and whatever is on the board, you shoot it. I missed. <laughs> and if you miss uh, for later in the game, it'll start you over. If you're trying to go fast, um, go ahead. But easy enough just to stay at the top and shoot whenever you get it. And that's really that easy. So we've been in the game for about a minute, and we've already collected two golden bananas. So that's pretty awesome. All right, so there we go. Now we almost got everyone at two bananas. Um, I was at, like, the first world in the game, I did plan, well, off subject, but there's the next fairy. There's two fairies in each world, and there's that one. Except for the overworld, which is four. But, um, I was, in the first part, I was doing a Kong at a time, but as you can see now, I'm just going through the whole level, knocking everything out in each part. But, pretty much a frantic factory, everyone's kind of clustered together, which is, you know, pretty easy. It makes it easier for you. Now, which way to go is you want to go in here. Um, there's some Diddy Kong little stuff if you want to get it. I'm just I'm not going to worry about switching Kongs right now. There's probably going to be a banana balloon up here, maybe. Nope, there's some Lanky Kong stuff. And this is the R&D room. Um, it's really smart to come up here with Lanky, but we're going to go ahead and switch to Lanky. <laughs> um, you don't have to get those coins if you don't want to. Um, it's not technically recommended. But step on this number two pad, zip back over to the beginning of the game, and there you go. I'm going to go ahead and do something real quick, because I forgot to do it earlier. I'm going to go ahead and step on this number th three pad, because um, I just want to go ahead and get that there. So, if, just in case we need to use that later on. Now, let's come back and finish collecting these bananas. I believe, actually, his Kasplat is up here, too. Alright, did I miss one? Alright, no, I didn't. There's pretty much, see, is what I mean, like, there's a thing, there's like a gold banana for each Kong in this level right here. Go ahead and, easiest way to kill him. Bam! It's easy, or you can use your instrument, which is a one-hit kill, but it takes longer. Go ahead and collect these, and we're gonna do, uh, I guess we'll go ahead and do uh, Lanky Kong's first game. Um, it's right in here, if I can get it. Uh, this Lanky's right. Yes, go ahead and play his instrument, and we're gonna go on in this room. Okay, so now this mini game is, I remember it easily from when I was a kid. Oh, I missed. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. Um, but pretty much what you gotta do. Here's where the rare part comes in. Memorize the burps. It's really easy, but go ahead, step on here, get yellow, blue, and yellow. Or C, if you go by the letters. I don't know why you would really. It's actually like an xylophone, I guess you could say. I've actually almost got it pretty much memorized. Like, it, I'm pretty sure it's yellow, blue, yellow, pink, and then green, and then back to yellow. And then, like, red. I don't know. It's something like that. 
Um, I don't remember exactly. Oh, come on. <sighs> I'll see you guys back when I get that. Um, be sure not to stay on the edge or that can easily happen. But I'll see you guys back when I get this crap stuff sorted out. Alright, so there we go. That is the last um, bit you gotta memorize. Um, I can't believe I made that mistake. Um, just be sure you're in the center of it, because you don't want to risk um, having that mistake happen to you. But I was right, um, pretty much. I was actually right when I memorized it. And there you go, and random banana comes out of the barrel, I guess, or the wall. I'm not sure what it came out of. But there we go, we got Lanky Kong's next banana. We actually have, for the last three Kongs, Lanky, Tiny, and Chunky, we have all their splats as well. So, and I know where the other ones too is, as well too, but... Now guys, what we're gonna do is, let's go ahead and get some Diddy Kong stuff done. Um, he is a minigame in here as well. I believe, yeah, everyone has one. Except Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong does have something he needs to do though. But, we'll save that for last. Come in here, play his awesome guitar solo, and open this door. Alright, so now that you see the codes on each of these walls, and what you want to do is just open them and, you know, do your stuff. But there's three of his, um, barrels or whatever. Come on. Okay, I was sucking, but... And if I'm not mistaken, we're going to be right, like, close behind, um, his banana balloon. Or, or his banana coin. 73, so yeah, we're really close. Alright, so let's go ahead and step on these pads. Um, this one's actually kind of a boring mini game, but, you know, it's still fun to, you know, play and stuff. All you got to do is just do the codes, and then you just first, um, or you go against, um, some enemies to take out. And it has some pretty epic music in, in it, but not, I might mention. Come on now. And I don't think you can actually play your music instrument to knock them out. Or maybe you can. Maybe I'm wrong. Alright, one, three, four, two. None of these are really that hard, except they're kind of annoying when the, um, the little sneak in them. What is it called? The little bees come out that drop grenades at you. Uh, but they give you infinite anima ammo, so you don't have to worry if you're out. This, I remember, um, I, re I don't remember, oh, sorry. <laughs> I know I don't, I'm pretty sure I didn't say this. But I remember, I remember, like when I was little, when I came into Frantic Factory, I always thought it was where I was gonna beat uh, or go against um, uh, whatever his name is, King K. Rule. Because I mean, you're going to his factory and you're going inside his mouth to go to the lobby. So I'm just suspecting, like, oh, am I at the end of the? I didn't really think I was at the end of the game. I just thought, like, maybe you beat him here, and then. Voila, you almost, like, you beat him and you gotta beat him again or something. I wasn't too sure. I've only, only the Donkey Kong game I ever played was Donkey Kong Country, and this was completely different, so. But I love how they did this one the 3D. I know a lot of people were probably kind of nervous how it's gonna work out, because they're so used to a platformer, um, of, con like, Country, and then, voila, it ends up great. Here we got the two of these guys, and... If I can hit them. Alright, so now we knocked out them both. Sweet, and we collect Diddy Kong's next banana. I went back, if you guys were watching since Jungle Japes, and I said, wow, how did I do that? Wow, it's right behind me, too. Let me get it. Um, but I remember I went back and watched it, and yeah, I was right. I did some kind of weird jump with him. I don't know, it was kind of, it was very weird. Alright, so now the last person we have in here to do is Chunky Kong and Tony Kong, but... Chunky's the only, only other one. You want to be sure you already got his musical instrument and everything. And all his stuff from Cranky in order to do this. And he doesn't just have an instrument in his way. He has something else to guard his path. <laughs> but go ahead and go up here. To unlock those gates is what you're going to need Donkey Kong for. So You need to know his primate punch. And his little triangle. <laughs> and not only that, you're going to also need to uh, know his... um. Big, like, Strong Kong, or whatever his big name is. Um, but you should have got that if you have Primate Punch, because it's the first one you learn. Uh, don't worry about getting these bananas right now. Um, get those in a second. We go over here, Primate Punch this chest, and let's see what we got in for us. Now, this was one of my favorite parts on Donkey Kong. Like, I love this. 
I, like, just couldn't get enough of this little part in the game. Where you gotta beat all of these little things. This part, you know, wasn't too bad, but at, in the end, like, it looks so cool to me. So you can collect these if you want to, right now. But you beat all these little enemies. Um, these crazy, crazy enemies. And, you know, just keep beating them. It's not really hard at all. But what's kind of, what's fun to me is in the end, you'll see. It's right here. Now watch this. This is so cool. I loved this when I was little. What? That's all these enemies. What are we going to do? Oh my gosh. What are they doing? Why are they running to the center? Oh my gosh, I made some big, enormous creature. Go to your Big Kong, and we're gonna be Big Chunky Kong. Um, pretty much just run away, hit. Um, that's why I'm saying you don't really need to collect those bananas now if you don't want to. You can come back and get them like that. It's really easy. Bam! What you gonna do? <laughs> I don't know why, but I loved this mini game when I was little. I loved it so much. I thought, I always wanted to go back and play it, but then, you know, you can't do that. You beat it once, and then you go on. I didn't know that, but I loved this. I'm just, I mean, I just, I don't know. <laughs> I just loved it so much. I thought it was just so cool. Come on, man. How much life you got? <gasps> you actually have to use that primate punch for one of the Chunky Kong's boss. Uh, his boss, and uh, later on. I found his boss such an annoyance to beat. Um, when I was little, it was so, it was a pain to me, and I mean it's a pain to me now. So it's kind of shocking how I did so well with it when I was little. Oh yeah, the probably punch finished it off. That's awesome. And after you do that, you got Chunky Kong's golden banana. Man, this is a very production productive episode. I mean we've got a lot of bananas in this one. That's like banana six, am I correct? Um, but we got a lot done. And we're not done yet, guys. We're continuing on, obviously. But um. Now the last thing you're gonna do, which I also found so much fun, is Tiny Kong's mini game. I told you, Tiny Kong always has the like coolest mini games. They were so cool in my opinion. But you do need to go in there with Tonk uh, Donkey Kong as well. But we're gonna save that because we don't need that right now. Go ahead and get some Tiny Kong. Go in here and you're gonna have a race, another race. All hers are races too, but I love them. I mean, the beetle race is kind of annoying, but this one is like, I love, I've always looked like this guy. You actually have to re -do, like, re go against like this guy later on um, in the last world actually. Well, the last world where you collect bananas. But see, you can, there's a little Donkey Kong little pad that we use. Man, we're so low on crystals too, man. I gotta get some. That's gonna go immediately to three, cause I'm gonna save it and just grow big and go in immediately to this one. I, I probably should take a picture of a fairy just so I can get some crystals because it reloads your whole crystals. But we got this little buggy right here. Let's see what he has to say. Nice set of wheels, Tony. Let's see a race for this gold banana trophy, shall we? To win, you'll have to beat me over two laps and collect ten coins. Try pressing Z to speed up and use this to change lanes. Press A to cheat and shoot me. Oh, don't worry. Don't... I will cheat. You must believe that. I always thought A was go fast, and wow, I have a bad start. Um, but what you want to do is basically go for these things. I don't have any of this memorized, like where to go to collect the coins and... Uh, which lanes have that and stuff? See right there, I just missed like two coins. Um, if you if you ignore getting hit by barrels, it's easy enough. I recommend you save your bullets that you can shoot him with later. You see those little three yellow dots? I always save that for the second lap. The first lap I just used to pretty much collect the coins. Let him hit that. Go ahead, you can take that. No, it's cool. See, I hit that first barrel and it was no big problem. We're gonna win this race. What are you doing? You can't pass us like that. Um, I'm pretty sure it's A, right? Um, we have plenty of coins. I almost went right in front of that barrel, too. That would have been retarded if I did that. I really have never, I don't believe I've ever really lost this race. Oh, crap. This is bad. So I gotta be in his lane to hit him? Okay, didn't know that. But... There we go. I'm waiting for one of those. I've been looking. I'm like, okay. And I think we're almost at the finish line. Come on. There we go. We are the winner with 21 coins. We doubled your, like, aspect of what we needed. <laughs> and that's really easy. There we go. Oh, no. The shame of being beat by a monkey. I'll have you this prize and promise not to mention this to the other cars in the pit. Whatever. 
Now, don't worry, man. We'll see you later. We'll be we'll be seeing you again, so you don't have to worry about that. Now, there's a... I believe we're going to get about uh, one more banana in this episode. And also a Kong thing. Like, keep the Kong crown or whatever. Um, go ahead and get out of there. And now we got to go ahead and get Donkey Kong and... Uh, I, I thought I glitched in the wall or something. <laughs> but we gotta get Donkey Kong to come back to this area. But I love how they ended up with this world. I mean, it's kind of creepy and everything. How the toys are, like, alive and stuff. But I love the aspect of it. And I don't think they... I think they just did such a good job with this whole game, matter of fact. Um, they did... They put it, like, very well together. And they just did something different. I mean... Yes, it's got the same aspect of, like, Super Mario 64, wherever you have to collect stuff. But not only that, you gotta collect little bananas, you gotta collect clowns, uh, clowns, crowns, and fairies, and all this stuff to do. I mean, there's so much more. And they got mini games and all this stuff, mini game barrels. They just did, it's, it's just not the same as Super Mario 64, and it's why I like it a lot more. It's actually one of the only, mainly one of the only ones, there's a couple, uh, coins that need the expansion pack. That's. I remember when like a lot of people couldn't play this because they did not have the expansion pack. Luckily for me, I bought this with the expansion pack and it came with it. There's some Chunky Kong coins right there, I believe, if you want to get those. It's. I mean, I'm pretty sure we already have a lot of Chunky Kong coins. And pretty much, if you go back to DK Isle, I didn't show this, but if you go back there, there's actually one of those big brown DK signs, you know, so you can, um, what's it called? What's the word? Um, do that big charge up thing and beat that. So you can get five coins for everyone. But here we are, guys. We're going on to beat this thing right here. Yes, Arena Bash them. Now, you can't really do what I did in the first thing, where you just not run away from er or you run away from everyone. You actually gotta knock them out. Um, there's only two enemies, though, so it's really not that difficult. Go ahead and knock this guy out. Easiest way to knock him out, though. Remember I told you this? When he gets back up, bam, he's out in one hit. Knock out those, uh, are those critters? Those are critters, right? Are there, no, those are Kremlings. Those are Kremlings. Wish you could use, like, your musical instrument, though. Boom. Get back up. I dare you. What you gonna do now? Nothing. You're gonna flip over and die. There we go. We're pretty much beat this. We don't have to worry about any more enemies. And we can go ahead and collect our crown. Well played. I love how I don't eat, get anywhere near dying in that one, but in the other one, yeah, I sucked up and died. Alright, now that we're done in here, what we're going to do, the last thing we're going to do in this episode, um, I didn't mean to do that. Wrong way. Come on, Donkey Kong, don't mess up. What you want to do is go over this way, right here. It's going to be some uh, Diddy Kong stuff in here, too, which we're going to have to come back here with Diddy Kong. Come on, now. There's actually that number two pad is how you can get back here easily, though, for Diddy Kong. What you want to do is turn around, shoot that little switch. That was perfect, too. And come in here. Now, remember that room I said we're going to kind of not really kind of say that for last? Um, well, that's what you're going to want to do right What we're going to be doing right now. Go ahead and get his little banana coin. And all this other stuff. Oh, uh, nothing in that one. And pull the switch right here. It's another easy banana. Let's see, there's nothing easier than one of the crystal caves, like the sixth world, that is the easiest of all. It's incredibly easy. This turns on the whole room, production room. See all those uh, Lanky Kong bananas, Chunky Kong bananas, a Diddy Kong splat, and a Donkey Kong splat, and a banana for each Kong. Oh, I'm not really for Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong's all separated. Actually, no, there's one right. That's Donkey Kong's. Right there. <laughs> but there we go. Don't forget to grab your banana on the way out. And there we go. Now we have three Kongs for almost everybody. We're going to be getting Diddy Kong's third one in here as well. And then all we got to do, really, pretty much, is do everyone's last room because we already got all the Kersplats. And then we're done with Frantic Factory. So in about two more parts, we should be done with Frantic Factory. Which is nice to know, right? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you real quick the what the easy way to get back up there for Diddy Kong, which is what we're gonna start off in the next episode doing. Um, back, back that way too is um, how to get to that whole room, which is why I did this whole path. It's kind of like a circle around the whole uh, frantic factory. Press the one switch, go over here. Don't forget that there's a Chunky Kong banana balloon that way because we didn't have his gun then. But we'll get that in a second. Go this way, number two, and you're back at that whole room, and then all you gotta do is go down that little ledge. 
But, um, United Gamer here, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed another episode of the Frantic Factory in Donkey Kong 64. Please stay tuned for more episodes, and I'll see you guys later.